Hello, everybody. It's Don Mega, or what's known everybody as Reverend Sanders. Here's an update for everybody, just so you'll know. Um, a lot of people have asked me on MySpace or in the industry when I'm selling music about my kid. Uh, so I'm about to tell everybody how it goes. This is how it goes. It's a year later, right? My son was accused of having a gun. My son was accused of uh, swallowing dope on the news, and that's why they originally chased him. Well, we all know as well as the reports that substantiate the news that there was no drugs in my son's stomach when the police claimed they saw that there because he was on a stomach pump the whole time. Um, you know, they said that he was running toward them with a weapon, they took a headshot. My son was shot in the back. That's not just something we said in the family. It's clear, it's evidence, it's part of public record. And guess what, America? Those who say, you know, you should have your son off the streets and you should have your son off dope and you're a hypocrite and all these different things that have been coming at me lately. This is how it really goes, man. Cats out here don't know that the police still haven't given the judge, the prosecutors, a police report. They have over a hundred, or, or not over a hundred, but I think a thousand pages of different documents that they've come up with in their investigation. But we still don't have a police report. In fact, the judge was upset in my son's hearing because they had no police report. If they don't come up with one of the by the next hearing, it's time to drop the case. So for all of you out there talking about, hey, you know, you ain't doing nothing for your son and, you know, he shouldn't have been out there selling dope. I don't know why you people don't seem to believe that the police out here will kill you if you cross them. So here's the next thing. Uh, I'm no longer in the ministry. You know, I took a leave of absence and then I stepped down from the ministry. I know this. You can say more to people without living up under the stature or position or title that is a delicate title to keep. You know, if I'm a minister, I'm more responsible to the body of Christ and people just that uh, have nothing to do with Christ but look at you to see that kind of light. So, uh, what I decided to do was be a regular guy, serving God in the fashion that I believe I'm called to do. And that way I can address more issues. Because if I'm a preacher, I can't, you know, address gangster issues, whether it's in music or whatever. I can't rap with so-and-so or this or that person without offending those in the body of Christ because I'm in the title of the minister. So we ain't doing that right now. You, you know what I mean? And and also, the Bible says that, you know, if a man can't run his household, how can he run the church of God? And me, just getting out of prison. I found there were some things I needed to work on in my life. So now, I'm walking, the, I'm walking the road of learning. Learning how to walk in faith, in obedience, and in righteousness. Which is very difficult and takes, a, or it takes obedience, it takes dedication, and surrender. You know what I mean? And I believe that those things will come to me in the time that they are meant by God. And not at a time that I reached for, you know. So, just so you know, that's the fullness of that. So I'm no longer Reverend Sanders, you know, I'm Mr. Sanders, just for you to know, just for all you out there who don't know, because I, I think you didn't know. Now you're going to find me doing more work, I still continue to, in a fight for not only my son, but many people have come to me, asked for me for help and prayers and direction, networks, those who have been vi victims of violence, all you guys know who you are out there, all you those who uh, experienced it, you know, and it's been very difficult for me. It's been difficult for me. I know it's difficult for you. You lose your family. You've written me about losing your children and shootings that don't even have nothing to do with the police. You have written me about victimizations by police or those who have just been victims of senseless violence. We own some other pages out here. Right now, I'm going to start doing work with a couple other groups. I'm my boy Telly from Straight Gutter and my boy Herm from the Day One crew. We, we, own some, we own some positive things. You're going to see some positive things out of us, whether it's on Megadon TV or whether you see Straight Gutter Records putting on performances in halls and places across the bay where we're going to bring some positive energy, music, and a, and a, and a no-violent atmosphere and non-violence. We're going to promote that out here. When you hear my music, you might hear me in the industry showing that I'm worthy of industry, meaning I'm like going to be like an actor. I might have a role like Denzel where I'm playing a gangster in this role. And then I might have a role where I'm playing a father who lost his son. Then I might play a role of hip-hop preacher. You never know what role a cat gonna play, but now there's no holes barred. So, I just want to put that out there for y'all who 
want to get involved in it, especially those who've been victims of violence, those in hip hop that have seen the story, want to do something with us in the bank because it's independent. We're doing our own independent thing out here. We're not looking for major labels. We make our own corporations and just go. So this is my podcast blog to y'all. Feel me? Can't be no more mistaking words. And for y'all who are, are interested in the case of Lorante, you know, we're, we're waiting just like the rest of the world is waiting. We don't know what's going on. And we know that they have no written police report. They have no written police report. I'm tired of saying it. I'm tired. So I'm gone right now. Forgive me for my attitude, but I'm a little irritated. The way these people keep commenting me on this page. Anyway, 100, love, stay sucker ducking, man.